hi friends welcome to our youtube channel it support and today we are going to learn how to install CentOS Linux 7 so this is the screen that if you are inserting the iOS image uh, by making the USB as a bootable device and insert it into the machine and boot from the pen drive then you will firstly you will get this screen press on that so installation is going on see uh, operating system started booting putting all the services Installer <coughs> Anaconda installer is starting. Now you will get a screen where you need to select the language and English, US. Okay, then press next then date and time click on that and choose whatever your country time will automatically select then keyboard English US language we already selected this is the installation media if uh, first is auto detected installation media second is ISO file and uh, this is ISO file means it is already attached to this machine so we are gonna delete in future so then, then software uh, selection this is the server type which which server you want to install like genome desktop okay so you know a highly interior and user friendly desktop environment and server with GUI so most of the infrastructure service will run in GUI mode okay <coughs> so we are going to select genome desktop so that we will get a graphical user interface in genome desktop if you see see in the right hand side if you select a server with GUI you will get the option backup server DNS server email server these are the options which you can install with that if you click on the genome desktop these are the services these are these are the facilities these are the add-ons which will be available with the G genome desktop environment <coughs> okay so select all these that you want with the genome desktop okay then uh, it will checking for the dependency and will load then installation destination this is your virtual drive or a hard drive that you want to install in, in where, where where you want to install so select the option I will configure partition and encrypt my data this is looks Linux unified key system so we are going to install under LVM so first partition is a boot uh, sorry uh, slash root partition and define its size like uh, 50 GB okay so add mount point <coughs> so it is uh, it is created and uh, okay so total uh, space is uh, 100 GB and available is only that because we already dis discussed that it is already contained the partition so let de delete that partition which is already present into the drive okay go into the disk configure the partition selected done and then <coughs> <coughs> click here 
this these are the three partition which is already present in this drive so we are going to delete it so first of all we need to unlock it because it is locked by looks okay oh I typed the wrong password I can type it correct unlock the looks partition okay see it is unlocked and let me delete the partition <coughs> is of 18 GB slash boot it is already created so it is the boot slash root partition so let me delete it I press minus symbol then it will delete delete it also delete all the other in the system <coughs> now unlock the second looks partition Now create the first slash root partition of 50 GB under LVM. Create second partition slash boot which is of uh, 20 GB. <coughs> okay. So slash boot partition uh, and slash root partition. Slash root partition is created under LVM and the volume group is CL okay and the boot partition is created under standard partition because it is not creating under LVM and its uh, file type is XFS in uh, CentOS 7 the file system type should be uh, will be uh, XFS so this is new feature coming with the CentOS 7 create the swap of 4 GB it is also created under LVM okay swap partition created under LVM and the volume group is CL fine is LVM volume group is CL <coughs> let's create one more partition slash home of uh, 20 GB it is also created under LVM volume group will be CL okay so it's done make 12 GB available for in future for future use now begin the installation set the root password create the administrator user define full name and the username admin make this user as an administrator set its password done so installation going on <coughs> it will take like 15 to 20 minutes to install all the packages so it is completed let's reboot it CentOS 7 start booting now define the license information press it and select first option the 7 will option I accept and then done 
then network host connection just enable the Ethernet port okay it will take IP address from NAT then press done finish the configuration now it will again reboot oh wow we are ready to get inside in CentOS 7 type the password administrator password So guys this is how we install CentOS 7 and this is desktop GUI now uh, this is welcome screen select the language and all you can do the setting and start working on it thank you for watching you can subscribe our channel IT support bye bye